What's up guys? So now we're working on the other area that needs to have tons of mobility, the upper neck, okay? So remember, we already did the T-spine, we did the hips and the ball and socket joint. Now we're working on the Atlas, Occiput, Atlas. I already said that twice. That's my dog name, by the way. Maybe there's a picture over here. So what we're gonna do, tools we're gonna use. Of course, the trusty foam roll. This is just a pad we have. You can use a pillow, a uh, towel, lacrosse ball, double lacrosse ball. So what we're gonna do, our MSA type of approach. First, we're, he's gonna use the double lacrosse ball. So the suboccipitals, sub means below, occiput is the skull. So this area right part right here at the skull where it goes from the skull to the top part of the neck. So he is working on the yes, no type positions. So remember whenever we did the exam part, we had you do your chin to your chest or the extension, this is what he's working on here. He's just massaging out that tissue. Now, this area can be kind of tender. Think of it. If your head is, if you're at a you know, computer all day, driving, whatever, your head goes forward, head tilts back. That area gets compressed quite a bit. So it can give you headaches, especially tension type headaches. So work on this area lightly. So the easier one was the peanut double lacrosse ball. Now he's doing one. You can have a single lacrosse ball. This is a yoga ball. He's doing one at a time, doing the flexion extension and the rotation. He's just gently massaging that area of the, um, of the upper neck. Okay, then you can take the uh, same lacrosse ball and put it a little bit further down into the shoulder blade called the levator scap muscle. So levator elevates scapula, the shoulder blade, okay? So this muscle attaches from the neck and comes up and attaches to the upper part of the shoulder. Now, where you typically have your little knots is just, it is literally right in that groove right here. Now, sometimes people will have a hard time feeling it. They'll either have to put it on a wall and do the same type of movement if you were to make them stand up. Or sometimes if you need it, you can pick the hips up a little bit to help drive weight down into the ball, okay? He's adding a little bit of shoulder movement to it. Here's your pin and stretch type mentality. So this is our M part, our myofascial release, our digging into the tissue, okay? Now the next part is your stretch. We're just gonna take, say, the foam roller, we're gonna put it between uh, the base of his, or the kind of like top part of his skull. And now he's going to work on that yes, no type position. First, we're going to work on chin tucks, okay? No, I'm lying, chin tilts tucks are later on. So he is bringing that head, he's tilting his head down, chin to the sternum. That's our kind of our standard, our goal. Now what he's doing here is he's sitting in this position for 15 seconds. Remember, he can work on his breathing and relax. Now we're gonna add a little caveat to the situation. Since he is tilting his head this way, what I want him to do is to try to tilt his head the other way to extend into the foam roller for six seconds. Then when he's done, relax, see if he can go even further into that movement. He's gonna hold that position for 15 seconds, work on his breathing, relax, tilt back again the other way. And then relax. So remember, six seconds, push, contract, 15 seconds, relax and breathe. Typically, I'm the worst at counting. Think of your breathing. So I want you to do, say, two or three nice deep breaths to relax the body, and then a good push into for that contraction for about six seconds, about three rounds. Now, he should have feel a nice big pull at that suboccipital area. Now. If you have one area that's a little tighter than the other one, he can kind of like rotate his head and then now do it. And now it adds a little bit of extra strips to one side, okay? Start with the same movement first and then work on trying to do one side at a time, okay? Then what we're gonna work on now is the chin tucks. We're almost making like the double chin dreaded type position. Now you can roll this foam roller just between your shoulder blades and then now he's tucking that chin, letting gravity win, pulling his head down, and he's just holding this stretch for a little bit. Breathe, relax. People are, and then he's gonna do, go ahead and do our pills and rails type thing where he's pushing into it for six seconds and then relaxing, letting that head fall back even further. Breathe, relax. Now you're gonna be like, Doc, this hurts my neck. Blah, blah, blah. That's the whole point. This is doing a plank, but for your neck it's building strength and stability. It's working the things you want it to. So yes, we care about your mobility, 
But if the thing is loose and unstable, guess what? You look wrong, you are scared, someone scares you, then all of a sudden like your neck is thrown out or whatever. That's because it's not strong. Just like your back wouldn't be strong if your core is terrible. This is the plank for your neck, okay? Good. Now, you can relax. What if you're just like, man, I'm in a very acute situation. What I'm gonna do is show him, get a towel, pillow, put it right there. It's okay, you're coming to a chiropractor because you probably hurt. So it's okay to regress and then progress later on. What he's doing here is he's just having a pillow or whatever here. So it kind of raises it up, takes the tension off, but he's still going to do the same thing. Chin tuck, good. And now you're kind of, whenever you're here, he's gonna push his head into the pillow. Good, then relax, good. He can do it that way also. If it's just a little bit too much of a problem. He can also, like he did before, put his hand on his forehead and do that push forward and then relax. So you can do different type of ways. Cool thing is about the body, you push on it and then relax. It's kind of like, hey, what the heck's going on? It allows it to go deeper into that range of motion. So this is the chin tucks. All right, so we did chin tilts, chin tucks. Now we're doing neck rotation. Okay, so here's a nice safe position too. Got the pillow underneath the, the head, a few inches. Now Dot's just gonna rotate his head one way. Good. Now for this one, I want his head to think about being long, okay? Now there's a lot of times that neck will kind of extend back and then all of a sudden you start rotating, it pinches, it hurts. Don't do that. Or the chin will start jutting up like that way. I don't want it to do that. Chin a little bit tucked. There's a reason why we did chin tucks first because we want to own that movement. And then now he's going to do his push relax. He sat in that position for 15 seconds. He's going to try to rotate this way. And then now he's doing that for about five, six seconds. Then now he's going to see if he can own a new range of motion. He did. He's going to breathe again. Relax. Do that about two or three times, 15 seconds. Then what he's going to do is try to do it again. He's going to put his hand there, lightly rotate this way six seconds then he's gonna let it relax see if he can go even further now he's hitting right around that good what our range of motion within normal limits that we would want so he's gonna sit there and breathe and relax own that new position and guess what he did one side he's gonna do the other so chin tuck chin tilt I'm lying chin tilt chin tuck neck rotation get it